Yo, right, guys, it's Game Boy Luke here, and welcome back to Small Pokemon XT Gala Darkness Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the previous episode, I went to Gaichin Port. Finally, after all the requests and all the comments, I finally went to Gaichin Port, and I made so many people happy that day. So many people blessed up, hands up emoji for how happy they were <laughs> that I went to Gaichin Port. There were, and after that day, there were no more comments about me missing Shadow Pokemon. Knock on wood. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the series, of course. Uh, please leave a like right down below. It's greatly appreciated. We actually caught three Shadow Pokemon in the last episode. Two of them were at Gate Import, and then one was in here. And the funny thing is, is that they were bringing out all these trashy mons, and then finally their last Pokemon was Entei, and it was Shadow, and we actually snagged that that, that dude. So he's he's chilling in the PC. He almost freaking destroyed our Duskull, and I'm telling you, I wouldn't have been too pleased with that because Ulkiora out here being my starter Pokemon and stuff, I can't be losing him. I remember when I was a kid, right? When we play Pokemon Coliseum, and you can't trade with the outside world. <laughs> you can't trade with other games until you have beaten the game. And you also need to, um... Wait, where am I? Okay. Uh, you also need to uh, have like a certain cable and a GBA or whatever to trade, right? I remember playing with my friend when I was a kid. And, you know, obviously you start with Espeon and Umbreon in the in Coliseum. There was something about me, and I don't know what it is. Ever since I was like, I've played Pokemon, maybe it was the person, so... Okay, I'm gonna, this is a convoluted story, but when I first started playing Pokemon, my friend always, I mean, I got really into the anime. Like, the Pokemon I played with, this is gonna sound super nerdy, I don't even care. The Pokemon I played with were like my, I used to treat it very seriously and pretend I was actually the trainer and stuff like that as a kid. So I had like an attachment to my starter Pokemon. Every single time I played through the game, I kept my starter, but then sometimes I would like trade my starter for like a random Pokemon and pretend that was the starter that Professor Oak gave me. I actually used to like play my own randomizers before randomizers existed, kind of like essentially when you think about it. Um, but back to story, yeah. So in Pokemon Coliseum, my friend would trade all of his Pokemon, including his starter Pokemon, for like legendaries and stuff. But I was like. How are you gonna do that, man? I can't do that. That, that feels so wrong. Did anyone else do that? Like, you, you just, you, once you had your starter Pokemon, the Pokemon that had been with you throughout the entirety of your playthrough of this video game. You can't tell me you just box them afterwards. I had to keep them on my team. And I had like an, I even like got the point on this game where Espion and Umbreon were level 100. In, Col in Coliseum, that was, of course. That's how it went down for me. I couldn't, I couldn't play the game any other way. But, um, but yeah, and like again, back when I used to start, I used to, I used to play through, I've, I've told you, I get, you guys this before, but I used to play Pokemon Stadium all the time. I would play through red and blue and yellow, or gold, silver and crystal, over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. I used to just play it, over and over again. And the only way, like, I, I enjoyed the game so much, I am so lost. I enjoyed the game so much. Okay, they're trying, they're talking about Crane and stuff, like, it's, it's just like, side stuff. The only way I could get so much enjoyment out of it was because I would say, beat the game, build like a perfect team to take down one of the cups, like the little 50 cup or the little- <gasps> Wait. I think this is optional, so it's- yeah, damn it. <laughs> so I would trade myself in gold and silver, I would trade myself an egg of a Pokemon. And then use that Pokemon and pretend it was my starter, that the, the Professor Elm or whoever gave to me. And sometimes, I actually think back and I'm like, I really want to do that again. That'll be a lot of fun. Obviously, randomizers exist now, but I'd like to play, like, I'd love to just play through gold, silver, or crystal, just sat in my own time, playing the game, and doing the damn thing with some random-ass Pokemon on my team. I'd absolutely love to do that. So maybe I'll stream that at some point. Maybe I will. Maybe I will do that. And ask the chat, who should I make my starter Pokemon? I will customize my starter Pokemon or whatever, since I have like the, 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 the necessary, the means to do that. Um, and just stream myself playing Pokemon Stadium, because that game is actually the bee's knees. Maybe I should do that. Maybe. That's when you know. You can tell them I'm like a... Super nerdy Pokemon fan at heart. Um, and I think that's why 
without gassing myself up like necessarily. I think that's why people do enjoy watching some of my videos because I actually know what I'm talking about when it comes. To well, I say I know what I'm talking about, but I slip up here and there. I'm sorry for that. I, 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 sometimes I say the wrong things or I actually say the say something and mean another. But I'd like to think that a lot of people like my videos because I tend to somewhat know what I'm talking about because I can't imagine how frustrating it could be to watch somebody like think that like bug is super fed against ground or something like that and, it, and you're just like wait no what are you doing I mean I guess at the same time you get to watch that journey as they slowly understand the game more and more um yeah I don't know always learning but there's always that like I guess people really enjoy watching my reactions on things too so that's why I'm always excited for new Pokemon games to come out because I I, I one thing I think I prioritize a lot on is my genuine reactions. And I used to, I feel like I used to like hold back my reactions because people, I thought people would think I was weird or whatever, but when it came to like the sun and moon stuff, that was the perfect opportunity for me to start like reacting to like actual news and real things and people, uh, oh, uh, Oras even, Oras stuff, for example. I think I was quite reserved with Oras, but I think my re reactions, like I didn't realize how much of a stupid idiot I am when I react to things. Like, I actually didn't, and people love it. They think it's hilarious. And I, I actually really appreciate that because I, <laughs> I just think I'm stupid. So I love the fact that people are like, "You're hey, you're funny." You pull stupid faces. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I do. One more level, Kadabra. You're so close. You're so close, buddy. So close yet so far. Since you have no attacks, and as soon as you get Psybeam, man, this Pokemon's tearing through everything. I'm busy, I'll let you go today. Alright, yeah, you better. Wait. He said he'd let me go home. How are you gonna let me go home and then fight me? Okay. I'm naming my son Coffee. That's it. The name for my son. My firstborn. Shit, that's a Sceptile. That's actually really bad. It gets pursued! And it's physical! Oh god, that's actually terrifying. Sceptile is a bad Pokemon to face right now. Especially since I have a water type team. All of them are water types. What do I do? Poor Pokemon. Okay, um. I'm hoping that I don't get shafted here. What is Tsunami's attack right now? Hold on. Somewhat even, so Body Slam is still a good option and we could slow it down. Okay, I'm gonna do that. We're gonna Body Slam this Sceptile. I don't think it has Leaf Blade or anything. It might get it because it's fully evolved, so... They tend to get really good moves when they're not absorbed. Okay, we're good. We're safe. That's bad. No, it's special. It's special. If that was physical, it would have killed. Actually, it wouldn't have killed, but my physical defense is actually shocking, so... Okay. Crisis averted. I'm gonna disable you so you can't do that again. I'm gonna body slam the Sceptile so I can say goodbye. I'm, I'm very glad we bumped into Sceptile, even though he is terrifying. We're gonna get a lot of experience for killing it. Woo! Goodbye, buddy. Yikes. Big yikes. Look at that experience. Yum. And the Moltres appears. He has Astonish. Oh, okay. Okay, so... I think the only threatening move, no, so the only thing that I'm worried about with Moltres is the fact that it has, okay, so it has Stab Peck, which wouldn't worry most Pokemon, right? But I'm a Kadabra, I have no defense. I'm not trying to get destroyed by this thing, I'm gonna Ancient Power you, because it's quite effective. We're faster. Woo! Tsunami coming in clutch again. And the crit, to top everything else off. Thank you. Damn, you a big boy. Jikes. And finally, Krabby. Okay. Okay, Cradley is the next target. You can't be throwing out Astonish like that and not expect me to do something about it. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. Uh, I'm gonna disable you again. I can't, actually, I'm not allowed to, but I'm gonna try. 
I'm gonna try. Can I disable what something once? Ah! Dang, that did a lot. I'm glad we have the rain. Because Crater Dilly is a bulky, a bulky Pokemon. Actually, you know what? I don't even want to disable Krabby from bubbling because I know he has Vice Grip, and if I disable him, he's gonna go straight to Vice Gripping. He's bubbling because of the rain. He's been baited. We just baited him. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do it. He is so concentrated. Gotta get rid of Tsunami. <laughs> ah, that's funny. I actually think I might level up here. Yeah, I'm gonna level up here. I'm leveling up here. I'm leveling up here. After I water pulse this. Wait, can I level up? Mm. That would be dope. I mean, it would be sick if I could get Side Beam right now. I would very much appreciate it. I could start punching holes in things. Boom! There it is. Now we're taking lives. Now we are taking lives. There's Vice Grip. I told you we had it. I absolutely called that. Damn, they really want Tsunami gone. He's literally a punching bag. Everybody, it's like you didn't follow me. Everyone just wants a piece of the, the Kyogre. All right, here we go. How do I... There it is. Nope, put it there. Side beam. And Ancient Power. It's done. I now have the strongest Pokemon in existence. I told you, we just had to wait. We had to be patient. I'm glad we bumped into these trainers to like grind against 100%. 100%. Nope, I'm just no good at battling. Dude, you had a lit team. What are you talking about? I was, I was scared. All right, let's see. All right, let's let's switch out. Tsunami doesn't need training. Let's get Lucura in. Um, we'll get Lucura in. Um, hopefully get him level twenty. And then I want to. I think I want to level up Poliwag next because Poliwag evolves into Poliwhirl at twenty five. So that's the next thing I want to get to. I want to definitely want to get into level twenty five. Torchic and Aerodactyl. Now I just shh. I'm scared now. Aerodactyl is a terrifying Pokemon with Wing Attack. Hmm, that's a Pokemon I can't deal with. That's a Pokemon I can't deal with. Ichigo, come back, come back, come back, come back. I'm not trying to risk anything. I'm not trying to risk anything. <laughs> um, Okiora, on the other hand, can probably handle. I think he can, I think he can deal with things. I'm gonna go ahead and... Torchic's probably got like, the less health. Yeah, I'll go with Torchic. But I know having Kadabra out makes him like a super, a super target. Everyone's just like, get him! He's frail! Like, I'm, I'm actually confident that Ukiura can take this. If he, he, yeah, see, like, I know I can take that. Ukiura is a tank. He is a tank. There it is, going for the physical type move on Kadabra. I knew it! I saw it coming. I saw it coming. Do at least half. That's not gonna do half, is it? Nah. Oh, Ukiora, you're so weak. We need, to, we need to get you a good move, man. I don't even know. I don't even know what move would be good on him. Yeah, I want to get rid of you. I want to potion Ukiora up because he's going to get. I feel like he's going to get double teamed. Should we have a look? Where's my phone? Let's take a look, see. Let's see what Duskull can get. Bye, Aerodactyl. See ya. Um. Fire Red Leaf Cream. So again, the only actual move he learns is Pursuit. From this point onwards, which is awful. Um, by TM, he gets Ice Beam, with the Rain Dance, Psychic Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball is probably the best move there. It doesn't it get Earthquake? I s oh no, Duskull doesn't get Earthquake. Dusclops does. All right, that's a freaking Smoochum. So, hold on. So if I open up, no, not Dust Noir. Dust Glops. There we go. Let's see what you learn. I level up in Fire Red and Leaf Green. He got, he, he gets Shadow Punch. 
He gets Shadow Punch and he gets Future Sight. That works. TM wise, he now gets Earthquake. He gets uh, Rock Tomb. Nothing crazy really. Uh, I can't. I can't say he evolves at what level though. Thirty-seven. Ah, that's so late. That's super late. That's actually really late. I'm not trying to deal with it. Wow, almost killed. Wasn't quite enough. Damn, everybody. Literally everyone fights Tsunami. Everyone is trying to dick down Tsunami. It's kind of nutty. Alright, so we have a long way to go with Ukiora. At least he gets Shadow Punch though. Wait, wait, when does he get it? Does he get it when he evolves? He gets it when he evolves. Okay. I could run some maybe curse set like... <coughs> Ghost type curse set. That might help. Who knows? Uh... Okay. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Well, what is this? Lame. Ether. Okay, I don't think I've checked every single corner of this place yet. They still we have to go. We have to go north. And I'm pretty sure I came in on the left side. Oh, there's just an item over there. I should go up that way. There is a healing machine here. Pause. Pause for a second. Pause for a second. This isn't an I should have noticed that isn't an elevator. This is just in- Oh! Shit. Shit. Research and development Morbit. Morbit! What are you doing, Morbit? Okay, this is something I can deal with. Except Porygon 2 does scare me a little bit. I don't think it would kill me. But... If Porygon 2 was- uh, nope. If Porygon 2 was gonna do something... If he tackled me, I don't think it would kill. He endured! Bam. And he endured the hit. Waste of my damn time. Oh my god, I confused him. That's hilarious. Agility, okay. That's not a big deal. NBD, NBD. I'm going to nightshade the Heracross after it endured. It's on 1 HP. Didn't do thing. I should have disabled him. Do I have disable? I don't think I have disable. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this. And then I'm gonna. I do have disable. I'm gonna disable Porygon too. Hit yourself. Yes. Okay, perfect. So if I side beam this, hopefully. Porygon 2 will go for a, a, an attacking move, and then Ulkiora disables him. That's what I'm hoping for. Tropius. Oofed. I went for agility again. I disabled his agility. That's bad. That's actually really bad. Oh, I mean, okay. Okay. Let's just attack Tropius. I'm just, let's just get him out of the way. There's the tackle. I know he's not very physical. But, oh my god, look at that animation. Actually, that didn't do that much. I was expecting way more. I know I, I know I'm like way higher level than him, but still. Look at that damage. He's so strong. Nice will and easily finish him off. Easily. This is a special move, and therefore will not do a lot to Kadabra. And therefore will not do a lot to Wait. I thought Goss was a double hit move. I swear Gus was like a double hitting move. Am I dumb? I might be stupid. I might be. Okay, well this is easy now. I just disable the tackle. He has Psybeam! He's firing back! Oh, uh, did nothing. Don't confuse me. Okay. Dude, he's fast AF right now. Oof, good damage. Good damage. So he's absolutely gonna go for tackle now. Which 
Please land up. Uh, please land. Please land. Land? Okay. So he has to go for tackle. He can't touch Ulkiora, so I may as well just potion up the um Kadabra. Just to be safe. I know I know a tackle crit wouldn't kill me. Um I, I I'm paranoid, alright? I'm paranoid. He agilitied. He admits defeat. To be fair, I'm kinda glad that we went and faced these trainers because I probably needed to get Ichigo to level like 21 to get Saibim anyways before I went into this next battle. It's free experience, like why would you not take it? Ba -da -ba -bum. I wonder when he learns Again, back to data decks. I wonder when he learns Psychic. That's Gen 3, my guy. No, Gen 6. I want Gen 3, not Gen fucking 7. Alright, so he learns Psychic at 36, which is not that bad at all, honestly. Alright, excuse me. Uh, I don't think there's anything up there, but I know there's a TM right here. Oh, not TM, an item here. Replace some super potions, or we take those. We will take those. The chop is purified. Citra is purified. Anyone else? <laughs> okay, cool. So we have those two purified. So I'm gonna go get Cedra purified and get the dragon scaled in as soon as possible, am I right? There's no there's, there's a healing machine, but there's no box. There's no PC. Okay, what is this? Um Oh. They made it so I had to beat somebody to open up a oh! Digor! How about no, mate? What have you got for me? Oddish and Sableye. Sableye, Sableye, Sableye. Sable eye. <laughs> Sable ye! <yeah. laughs> okay, so Sableye is definitely a problem. Because it's gonna have ghost and dark type moves, so we need to eat. Oh, he's dark! Why did I try to side beam him? I'm stupid. I'm dumb. Oh, don't you dare. That's right. That's what I thought. I'm an idiot. Why did I try and side beam a dark type? I literally said that he was a dark type and I I'm an idiot. Please do half. Damn it. <laughs> God, he's so creepy. All right. Nightshade. I'll take down the Oddish because we don't want him poisoning people. That's not cool. See ya. Level 20. That's what I like to see. Actually, does, does he even have a uh, ghost type move or dark type move yet? I'd imagine he starts off with a. Oh, but say pursuit. That works too. That's a crit. Can we not crit, please? And he flinched, of course. Okay, I need to save him Rattata because Rattata is, again, a physical Pokemon. No, that's not going to do enough. We just picked up those two potions, put them to use. Oh, you quick attack, you ash, you are, uh, you're gonna screw me up. Oh, they foresighted him! That was sneaky. I thought he was going for Ichigo. Get out of here. I'm so glad I healed him up, Rattata, you little, little shit. Get out of here! What's the last one? It is a Pidgey. Wow, this man literally had Gen 1, Route 1 trash. Oh, that's only that's fixed damage, so I'm okay. I'm good. Okay, let's side beam the Pidgey and it's Nightshade the Sableye. Can we? Okay, I I'm still living. If he astonishes me, however, I actually don't know if I live that. I'm very scared. Look at him. Ah! He tripped over, bless him. Oh, he used Scratch. He's dumb. He's stupid! Okay, yeah, an Astonish would have killed me. I'm actually confident that Astonish would have killed me right there. If Scratch did that much damage, think about an Astonish, Stab, super effective hit. That more than likely would have taken me out. Which is ridiculous. Unless he did that... Knowing that he wouldn't actually kill me and I would live on a little bit, so he scratched me first. I don't know. 
They like to be really cheeky with their attacks sometimes. They will be super sneaky and be like, I don't, I don't, they won't reveal an attack they know that could kill you, but they'll put you just in range for it and then use that move. And then you're like, oh, I didn't know he had this move. Boom, I'm dead. All right, all right. All right, since Ilkiora is not exactly the most talented battler on the team, I'm probably going to throw up like Poliwag now. Look, can I get my item? Can I take the item out of the box? I want the item. Give me the item. I want the item. An ether. That's what you're protecting. You're protecting an ether. Okay, so this healing machine is literally just chilling here. It's not, it's not. Main area stuff. Okay, so I'm going to end this episode off here, guys. I know a little bit of a short episode, I'm sorry. I know you guys wanted me to do longer episodes, and I will be doing longer episodes soon, I promise. I pinky swear. Look, pinky swear. Right there. Lock it. Dump it. Like this. You gotta do this. Eternal promise. I will do them soon, I promise. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, slap a like on it. It is greatly appreciated. It helps the channel, it helps the video, it helps the series, blah, 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 blah. You know the drill. Thank you again, for like the fourth time. And I'll see you guys next time.